Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about eccentricity simulation and modeling. I will mention the video again here to be watched if it's needed. These days, eccentricity modeling is very popular in industries and in the papers. One of the most important reasons of this popularity is when we know the behavior of the motor or generator with the eccentricity fault, we can diagnose the eccentricity fault in the real motor by its behavior. Now let's review the models of eccentricity together. Uh, we have healthy motor, we have a static eccentricity, which the center of the rotation is fixed but it's misaligned with the center of the stator. On the other hand, in dynamic eccentricity, the center of the rotation is rotating itself and it's not fixed. And in mixed eccentricity, both static and dynamic eccentricity are present. To review the eccentricity in more depth, you can read this blog that is published on the EMWORK site. I will mention the link, but if you want to read more blogs and gain more useful information, you can go to the emworks.com. Here is the homepage with webinars and news. You can go to the news and events, go to the blog part, and there is a lot of useful stuff that you can read. Here is the eccentricity fault detection in electric motors that we are talking about. In the previous eccentricity video that I've recorded, I mentioned the workflow of modeling the eccentricity in ANSYS Maxwell. As I mentioned before, I am using another software that uses finite element method to model the magnetic environments and its EMWORK modules. It has three modules, uh, EMWORK 2D, EMS for 3D environments and motor wizards uh, to model the electrical machines faster and making 2D and 3D models in EM2D and EMS. Let's open one of the demos of the EM2D to model the eccentricity and see the workflow in this software. Here we can open one of the surface mounted PMSMs and for new analysis we have to go to the EM2D tab and click on study. In the study settings, we want to have a transient analysis. And uh, when we choose this part, we, we have to go to the coupling analysis. And one of the options is eccentricity. Instead of modeling it manually, like in ANSYS Maxwell, that we move the stator or rotor, this coupling analysis will help us model the eccentricity by these options. For example, here in eccentricity setting, we can choose a static, dynamic, and mixed eccentricity. Let's see the static eccentricity options. We have to put the initial angle, the rotor speed, and the area blinks. As we have a complete model here, we have to measure the area and the speed and put the values here in the blank parts. For example, we have one millimeter air gap, a static eccentricity distance, the misalignment between the stator and rotor, and it should be written in percent, for example, 50%, and the static eccentricity angular. The angle that this eccentricity happens. Let's see the other options. For example, in dynamic eccentricity, we just need to fill the initial angle, the rotor speed, the air gap, 
the dynamic eccentricity distance in percent and the dynamic eccentricity rotor speed here we can see the workflow is more user friendly we can set all the values and press ok to start the simulation i will try to record another video about the eccentricity output and results in em2d software simulation thank you for watching this video it's very helpful if you write your comments and tell me which features and which simulation is better to be done in this channel and what is new areas that you want to watch videos about have a great time and please hit the like button to support continuing recording these videos